Hello, this is Apostle Tommy Quick, and I am so grateful for the privilege of coming to you once again by video. Listen, some powerful words. Dad, Daddy, Pop, Father. Amen. Words that have been with us throughout eternity. Amen. Not only, praise God, are they important to us in the natural world, but they're important to God in the word of the Lord. The Bible declares that God is our Father. Jesus taught that when we pray, we should say, Our Father, which art in heaven. John 1 declares that God gave us power to become the sons of God. Romans talks about us as the heirs of God and joint heirs of Jesus Christ. Well, why are you saying this, Pastor Quick? Because number one, God wants every human being, a man that comes into the world to know the blessing of having a father in his life, not a father figure, a father, one who is loyal, dedicated, who cares for, protects, provides, amen, instructs and teaches. An intimate relationship necessary for the development of humanity. God wanted us to have this so much so that he himself said, I will be a father to the fatherless and a defender of the widows. And so in order to make sure that every human could know the joy of a father, God has become our father. I asked somebody the other day, what, who is the greatest father figure that you know, a father that you know? Of course, the answer was a human being. But I want to say that the greatest and most neglected father of all is our father, God. And I want you to know that that speaks of intimacy. It speaks of protection, of mercy, of provision, of kindness, amen, of gifting, all, all the things that a good father is supposed to do. Now, the problem is that many times we have misscrewed God's fatherhood because we haven't seen good representative fathers in the earth. I want you to know that the best man, the best father falls short of our heavenly father who gave our big brother Jesus Christ that we might be free from sin and be saved. Well, tonight we want to return and explore the relationship of fatherhood and its importance. And we want to edify, build up and empower fathers to walk as our father God would have them to walk so that every person can know the protection of a father. Did you know what's happening in our world today? We can all trace it back to the failure of fathers. Fathers should protect the unborn. Fathers should uh, assure that there's a respect, amen, for marriage between a man and a woman. Fathers are to protect, amen, against uh, drug trafficking, against sex trafficking, against human trafficking, you name it. Praise God, fathers are the protectors. And we want to return to the old landmark, reestablish fatherhood make it a joy and not a burden and understand that it is where God intended that every man that should find their purpose. This is Apostle Tommy Quick. I'm excited about Jesus Christ and I'm excited about my Heavenly Father who has made me an heir with him. Join me tonight here at the Promised Land for a word from the Lord.